So this question says last week, an interior designer earned a total of $1,258 from consulting for X hours and drawing up plans for Y hours. All right, so somehow whatever was paid for the hours of consulting plus whatever was paid for the hours of drawing up plans all ended up with a total earnings of 1258 so there's my translation of that sentence. The next sentence says the equation 68x plus 85y equals 1258 represents the situation. So in essence, what we just figured out is that this interior designer is actually making $68 per hour for consulting. And they're making $85 per hour for drawing up plans. Um. Which of the following is the best interpretation of 68 in this context? Well, we got it because, right, the 68 has to, because of, because of its association with X and because we know X hours is associated with consulting, the $68 must be how much the interior designer earned per hour for consulting last week. So looking at my answer choices, it looks like A, the interior designer earned $68 per hour consulting last week. I like that answer. I'm going to read the other ones just to make sure. Choice B, the interior designer worked 68 hours. Definitely not. Choice C, the interior designer earned $68 per hour drawing up plans. No, plans are associated with Y, not with X. And D, the interior designer worked 68 hours. No, not hours. This is definitely pay. So very satisfied here that choice A is the correct answer.